The arts is, is life, and if you're not seeing yourself in what you're watching, it really doesn't reflect life properly. Theater, at its best, is the most democratic space possible. When we participate in theater, we are reminded how to be human. What's unique about theater, you know, it's, it's really trite, but it's all of the arts coming together, movement, the visual arts, very often music. So it is a big hallelujah chorus about the human condition. The first time I experienced live theater was actually at school. I was part of a, and I'm proud to say this, a public school experience of performing Shakespeare. I remember being a little girl and watching my mother in the theater. I really internalized the way that our pain and process can be transformed into something that really touches the spirit and the soul in a way that few things can. The sense of community you can find in theater can be beautiful. It can also be challenging. I went to the University of Michigan and I got my BFA in theater performance. When I was there, I was struggling with roles, especially for a black woman in my department. They were very minimal. A lot of the time, when you don't see a reflection of yourself, it can make you feel like you don't exist. When I started out, I did not see stories from an African female perspective. I decided that I was gonna write a play for myself and the two other black women in the department at the time. The way that the audience responded to the things that I had to say and talk about, I thought, oh wait, I might not just be an actress. I might need to be writing for the stage. We're not gonna watch it if we're not seeing our stories, you know? And so I think we're starting to understand our own power and we're wanting that access. What do we as theater artists right now have to say about this moment that in 10 years, 25 years, 50 years, people can look back to get a human record of what these moments feel like? I want to see theater that challenges form. I want to see theater that is bold. I want to see theater that speaks to things that many people don't want to talk about anymore or afraid of talking about. There's so many more stories that we need to tell. I think the thing that excites me is that theater has opened its doors in a lot of ways. I'm seeing a lot of voices coming through and innovative ways of telling stories that I didn't always see. The future of theater is exciting because of how we are finding each other in this moment in time. I hope our legacy, our mark, that storytelling that is made by our folks looks and feels like our folks is never enough because our stories are vast and tremendous and unique and incredible and there's so much to tell.